Bestbookbits.com brings you The Matrix Illusion. This is an article from the theguardiantext.org. From the ancient wise men of Taoism, Egyptian, Hinduism, and Greek, the purpose of any lifetime. The Matrix, the mother or source. You are not the body and mind. You are eternal spirit trapped in the body and mind. You have forgotten over many incarnations. The Matrix, bio-machine is your own limited bio-computer brain, which is virtual reality and point of view bio-machine that creates the illusions of space and time and that keeps you as eternal spirit in the illusion of being a physical being in a physical world realm via the nervous system and the five senses, i.e. the metaphor of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Genesis 2.17, which is the human nervous system like an inverted tree. The original sin is when you, as formless spirit consciousness, become identified and entangled with the physical body form and its mind as you grew from childhood to an adult. This creates the activity known as psychological ego. Other metaphors are Adam and Eve, not real people. Adam is the universal consciousness prior to creation and Eve is is spirit consciousness in creation in each human being. The eating of the apple is when a free spirit or angel, you, begin to enjoy the pleasures or fruits, i.e. the apple of physical nervous system, sexuality, and become identified and addicted to the body functions and forget its original nature as spirit, i.e. the original sin or mistake, a gradual process or original innocence as eternal spirit consciousness, i.e. the process of becoming an adult, growing up, and the loss of innocence. Other metaphors are fallen angel and the cave by Plato, and the contraction, a modern day spiritual term, is when you, as universal spirit, now being attracted to lower level of a limited physical life, and automatically creating the psychological personality, which is an activity of the now trapped spirit. You, because you mistakenly separated from the universal mind down to the level or state of the limited and default bio-computer, bio-machine and its inherent survival and self-defense programs. You are now using program knowledge automatically recorded from birth instead of universal wisdom. You are the fallen angel, now using the sum total of the brain's field of the mind record and playback to function and survive in the limited three-dimensional realm or earth plane which makes you as spirit subject to the loss of freedom and bound by the laws of physics narcissist from the greek mythology is the same metaphor as the fallen angels doomed to fall in love with their own illusions created by their memories and thoughts of becoming separated from the gods one universal mind and condemned to live in the constant sensation of fear and confusion. Hell, the lesser limited world or underworld, until the death of the physical form body and brain machine, vessel, temple. Contraction, modern day word for original sin or original mistake, is when you, as infinite eternal spirit, mistakenly become identified with the physical body and its limited physical brain as your only source of knowledge and security. In this limited three-dimensional learning and development plane, earth plane, the brain is actually a limitation to spiritual experience as it only operates in record and playback mode. Thinking and remembering is not actual experience of God. The brain is out of sync with actual infinite prior reality. Material creation, aka the toy room of the gods, is a personified creations or aspects of the one whole of nature in Greek mythology. It was and is being created for your natural learning and enjoyment, born to be alive, but has now become a prison to fallen angels, the human race. Meditation, separation, is a natural way back to your true and natural state of eternal spirit consciousness. Meditation, i.e. medicine to cure. Meditation separation is the practice of putting the body and mind to sleep like a computer in sleep mode but staying awake 
and alert inside, behind the closed eyes or behind the nose totally present in the inner here and now with a little excitement and innocent curiosity like exploring a new realm while being separated temporarily set aside from the body and mind, i.e. being in the inner here and now in a natural state of pure observation. Re Krishnamurti, along with intense self-control of the body and breath to create the slowest possible breathing, being like a stone statue without thinking or trying to accomplish anything or any goal. In this pure and natural state, you become the eternal inner witness prior to all created things, including your own physical body and its biocomputer, virtual reality point of view, brain machine. In meditation, you may experience the miracle of breathing and the heart beating without any conscious effort on your part. Also, in this natural state, you may remember or experience yourself as eternal spirit and that you always have been. You are not the body and mind that you assume to be. The secret key is very subtle separation that happens between the body and yourself, the eternal spirit. You, is that the observer and the observed are separate and different states of consciousness. This is the practice of dying recommended by Socrates. This prior and true natural state is known as Nirvana Samurhi, the holy grail to eternal life, not a real cup, a literary image. The Tao, Lao Tzu, the void, Taoism, heaven within Luke 17.21, the promised land, not a physical place on this earth. Virtue, or the Om, of the God. Socrates, Plato, Zeno, Seneca, Pythagoras, etc. Born again in the Christ consciousness and also the correct meaning of the second coming of Christ. Not the physical person called Jesus, spiritual teacher and Messiah, or messenger of good news. I.e. Luke 17.21, at hand, i.e. available now before the death of the physical body. Also born again, not reincarnation, the Garden of Eden, the gate to all the wonders. Beethoven, Mozart, Choplin, Michelangelo, etc. Divine love, Stoicism, Zeno, Seneca, etc. The eternal now, the consciousness prior to all creation, Nostradamus, obtaining the golden fleece or becoming a demagogue, Greek mythology, Sotori, the cosmic consciousness, and Einstein, Leonardo, Raphael, Galileo, etc. The bride of that which is already the case. You are the eternal spirit and always have been. The prodigal son, absolute reality or truth, at one meant, not atonement. Moksha, self-realization, Yogananda, leaving the body but not dying, Socrates, Ramanda Maria Maharashi or Krishnamurti, i.e. leaving the known or separating from the intellectual knowledge, being awake as eternal spirit again, the Buddha, Moksha, the second coming, i.e. not the coming of the man Jesus, but when each person attains, actually returns back to their natural unity with the universal consciousness or Christ consciousness. The reflection of the son, daughter of God manifested in the earth plane. Thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All of humanity returns back to the Christ consciousness and spiritual enlightenment. The fallen angel returns back to heaven, i.e. God union, the ark of the covenant, the vessel of the container, specifically the pineal gland in the brain, which is the seat of the universal spiritual consciousness. It appears as the white light as viewed from the vision center at the back of the brain in certain types of ancient meditations. Individualized consciousness, ego or sin, is then reunited and returned back to the universal God consciousness i.e. the covenant or agreement. The size, material and dimensions of the ark are most likely an honest mistake and mixed up with the portal, shrines, carried by a nomadic tribe looking for their homeland. 
In early Christianity, the location of the pineal gland is the head during meditation in the correct meaning, upper room and the meeting place of God in meditation. Moses for 40 years in the desert, an empty place, i.e. pure consciousness prior to all creation is another metaphor for spiritual enlightenment and God union. In the early days of Christianity, meditation was forbidden and considered evil. Therefore, meditation was a secret practice using metaphors. Note, there is a difference between living in the physical body, the inner witness behind the eyes and concentric, and or living as the physical body totally identified with and the eccentric, or off the correct place. The first is heaven on earth. The second is hell on earth. No, experience thyself as eternal spirit first and then you will know and understand all the mysteries of the universe socrates the same as seek ye first the kingdom of heaven god union and all else will be added unto you spiritual wisdom jesus examples of spiritual wisdom the spiral helix of dna linear connected is the direct materialization manifestation of the spiritual helix known as string light energy string theory they are one and the same all dna is manifested light all life is manifested light god is generating organizing and dissolving play of conscious light living light so tori a momentary separation of the spirit consciousness you from the physical body and mind in which you feel totally free of thoughts emotions and past memories along with the love and the compassion for all beings and enjoying the miracle of life and being alive in human form almost 60 percent of all humans have had such an experience when in meditation or during the course of daily life for no apparent reason this is a normal and natural experience and expression of the self-seeking its freedom from the physical realm and returning back to a prior state as eternal spirit the remembrance of what you have forgotten during this experience you may assume that you are in the present moment of the physical world but you are actually in the present moment of consciousness which is prior to and separate from the physical world realm and the physical body you live inside of if you use prayer a mantra eyes closed or tai chi moving meditation to experience yourself as eternal spirit the words or movements should be repeated very slow and with the intense self-control along with respect sincerity and pity humbleness this ancient and true method will also create separation the observer and the observed until you experience yourself as eternal spirit and not the physical body machine temple vessel etc that you live inside of the zen cohen is an unsolvable riddle or problem that will create a computer freeze in your bio computer brain machine which will or may create an opportunity for a sudden satori or a spiritual experience i.e the actual experience that you are not the physical bio machine body but are eternal spirit consciousness that which is always the case is referring to the prior or original reality that everything is already god i.e consciousness light living light which is always your true and original state as eternal spirit consciousness same as god made in the image of god the here and now of the matrix realm earth that you are experienced at this moment is called maya which is an illusion of light and which is created by the nervous system and the matrix bio machine brain it is not the absolute reality everything is already god including yourself but you're not experiencing it because you have separated from or contracted from an infinite universal mind down to the field of the mind inside the limited physical bio computer brain machine and live an experience life as separate individualized being the metaphor of the fallen angel and the greek character of narcissist who left the unity of being with the gods god and became a separate individual 
it is the original sin or to miss the mark, which is an innocent mistake. Returning back to your true state as eternal spirit is returning back to that which is already and always has been the case or always was and is infinite and most prior God before anything created, i.e. pre-creation, no thing, pure consciousness, the void. That which is already the case is an absolute most prior reality, also called truth, because it never changes even as it manifests itself as every object and human being. That which is already the case is conscious light, not materialized yet. That which is already the case is God prior to any creation. That which is already the case is before time, space, and infinity. That which is already the case is non-point of view of conscious light or God. That which is already the case is the present moment in the physical realm, or earth is an illusion. Maya, created by the brain, a virtual reality machine that creates its own space, infinity, and time via the nervous system and the five senses. To be in the present moment of the earth plane or material world is to be separated from that which is always the case or God, spirit consciousness, and is to exist in total fear and confusion. To separate from that which is always the case or God consciousness and become an individual is the meaning of the word hell, the fallen angel who creates its own world. That which is already the case or God prior to its creation is the original true state as eternal spirit at this very moment. You are consciousness prior to time, space and anything ever created. You always were and you always will be. If you are experiencing yourself as an individual among other individuals, then you have missed the mark and are separate from the universal wholeness of one being or one consciousness known as God. That is the truth. And that's a wrap on this fascinating article, The Matrix Illusion. For the best book bits, we've done over 1,000 book summaries in video, written in audio format. You can download our ebooks and books. Follow us on Spotify, YouTube, and check out our website. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye now.